YouTube, how you doing Earthlings? Right, I think this is part 19 of my The Trapdoor videos, my little um, foray into building lots of trapdoor characters. Right, I've had a special request from Mr. James Wilde, which was too late to do in the last video, because I'd already done it and it was waiting to be uploaded. But he wanted some more close-up shots of, or some close-up shots of what I've done. So I'm hoping that with the aid of this bit of, or this envelope I haven't opened yet, which I probably should do, I'm going to try and give you some close-up shots of my... This is a little drut. Is that actually bright enough? I can't see from this view screen. I don't know if it's bright enough. I can't tell. I don't think that's working very well. But anyway, there they are. They're a bit closer up. Uh, bony, sorry, uh, fur. I think he's still a bit too shiny, to be honest. I think he's shinier than plasticine is. And little... Little drut. I do like my little drut. I am very pleased with him. Is that actually focusing on him? shaped lump of stone kind of greeny grey drop with his little front toothy pegs I do like my little drop he is my favourite out of all of the characters I think because he's just a little faithful Little friend to Burke, and Burke treats him very meanly sometimes. Not very nice. Right, so this video, I've just put all my paintbrushes away, which is really stupid. I want to start. Oh, Rosie wants to get in the bag. Go on, Rosie, in the bag. There we are. She's just had her treats, so she's all happy. And now she's going to sleep, hopefully. They sleep 16 hours a day, apparently, cats. So they need to sort of build up their energy for hunting things. But yeah, I've done my shaping on Bony. He's got some bits of nylon that have... Oh, what do you want now, Rosie? Um, that's not bad to start painting. Just a little bit that needs a bit of it's very um rough and incomplete my little bony but when you have a look at the one on the screen he's not very accurate on that at all either and like I said before there's quite a few different versions of how he's actually supposed to look so if you get somewhere sort of in between the middle you've done pretty well I think good chunk of time doing this in the last video I thought he was ready for paint but obviously not quite there yet because I'm doing more refining 
of his shape. He's much better than my previous two efforts. The plasticine one, which has now been squished up into a ball of white plasticine, was kind of there. The first one, I couldn't get the clay to work properly, but now I've managed to use that exact same clay and make an entire planetina from Rick and Morty sculpture, which I'm doing a playlist of at the moment. And she seems to be coming out okay. Seeing that I'm actually using this crappy beginner level, entry level clay. Right, you know what, I'm just going to paint it. Um, so, I've got some Dale Rowney white simply acrylic paint that you can get from cheapo shops. Dale Rowney are quite a good respected make as well, so this one probably cost a couple of quid. going to liberally paint white all over with a nice thin coat to begin with make sure I don't get it in all of the make sure I keep the detail there I'm going to do some yellow inside his eyeballs as eye sockets as well because pretty much, well most of the shots I can see yellow inside his eyes so whether it's a sort of a glow that makes him look more alive or something or not, I don't know but it's what I'm going to do on this one I wouldn't have been able to paint the, um, the plasticine with the yellow so I think they probably did on the show maybe because they're able to just, you know, it's something permanent. It's they're doing bony for the show, so they want to do as much as possible to make him look like bony, but um, it doesn't really matter about you know paint coming off or anything because he doesn't really, he's not really animated. He's just his bottom jaw he's like up in his top top half of his head Ooh. Moves. oh the battery's about to die anyway thank you very much for watching good morning good afternoon good evening and goodbye and this battery's about to die so it's probably gonna die halfway through the video it's gone back to two bars now instead of one bar out of three so i apologize if this dies but by the next video and you'll have his white coat of paint I don't know how many coats it's going to take as many as necessary but yeah this battery is this camera's going to die thank you for watching and be careful out there and all the other stuff Because of this, this clay allows paint to seep into it so easily, it dries quite quickly and I'm able to touch, handle it, but once I get to doing thicker paint layers, or the paint gets thicker, it will become more prone to just being stuck to my finger and coming off when I release my grip on it, so I've got to be quite careful there, I think I might just leave it for do a couple of coats and then leave it for a day or two and then finish him off and then Mod Podge over the top I think the Mod Podge is something that enables me to be able to handle them and without the paint coming off
about it not being quite as well sculpted as the rest of him. But just bushing it in back into the my brush or somewhere but I don't know where it went. There it is. I think that was it. I'm just using a bit of water with the paint as well, just to sort of allow it to seep into the clay a bit more. Hopefully become part of the sculpture. around the lip of the paint tube because I don't like to squeegee paint out I just like to sort of grab it from the tube itself so these are probably just problems I've caused myself So wetting the brush as well it allows you to have a nicer, smoother, thinner coat of paint as opposed to having streaky lines from your paintbrush. And also going in opposite directions as well, different directions, what also helps to stop that happening. <laughs> 